When you do look for a shoe, do you like the most cushion you can get, lightweight and minimal, or somewhere in between? Lights on it. Wait, there's lights. There should be lights. Yes, there are lights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so, so just step on? So, you got one foot in each of the rectangles. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's funny. Isn't that cool? That there's different sizes. Uh, in your feet. And I've, I think I've been told that before. Yeah, very common. Wow, this is I fascinating. Say, I would say 90% of the people that come in have you know, different sizes. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm and trying then to. You have like a you know medium level instep height on okay. both of your feet. Um, okay. But, wow. Yeah, because we're basically heating up this this plastic piece that you see in right here is uh -huh. plastic but it's made pretty durable these should last like three to four years if okay you want every day okay interesting three to four pairs of shoes yeah you slide them in anything yeah you know, people sometimes we use them in ski boots okay so you can slide them in and out of your shoes you know just depending on what you're using them for what you need them for or sure. sometimes getting used to them you can in any orthotic, if mm -hmm. you've ever worn one, can feel like it it's beats It's been a the long, it's foot. like in high school I did. Me too. Yeah, it felt, yeah, it just, it felt like, strange at first. It's it's like, you feel, can feel like you're getting kind of a beating maybe yeah. on your yeah. for a while. Yeah, But I find that these are so yeah. much more. A little more, more flexible. Yeah. a lot of, these are made for active, for runners. Yeah. For people who are on their feet all day, for nurses. And, yep. and hairdressers. You and still us. have to live your life. You still have <laughs> to live your life. I have to walk on these, you know, we have to walk on the here as I take a look at your ankles and your feet. Oh, my poor left foot. Yeah. I, I can see it. Uh, see how hard in on that arch you are? Do you see how hard in you roll on that? I see how hard and just, yeah, that roll in. Oh gosh, that's. Yeah, that's, that's significant. That is, uh, and it's, you know, who knows if it's just ex a little accentuate. Okay. So then I take this all together. Okay. And we've done the foot scan. So your foot size was measuring. <laughs> seven and a half and, and eight. Seven and a half and eight. So we want to take That's care funny. of the bigger one. So we'll do, we'll start with seven and a half. Standard width. Uh-huh. Um, so like the Ravenna's lighter weight yeah. shoe, a little more airier. Okay. Um, Brooks Adrenaline, a little more structure to the shoe. Yeah. Um, yep. About the same weight. Okay. A little more weight to the back of the Adrenaline. Uh -huh. Here as much, because there's some, there's a hard post in here. Yep. And in here, you can see that piece. And, and that that's what helps, is what helps prevent the, the heel rolling. from collapsing. Yep. Or sorry, the, the, arch. Uh, the arch from collapsing. Collapse. That's an impressive haul. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Oh, well, should I be using the this side? Okay. I guess they feel great. And then the toe box the definitely is bigger. Yeah. Good. So many options. We're just trying to figure it out. She's taking the time to coach me through this because I just, uh, in college at the University of Colorado, we just ran in Nikes. You had no other choice. And so you didn't have to go through this process of figuring out running shoes. And so now that I'm trying to get back into more serious, healthy running, it takes time to figure out your options. And so I've tried Brooks, Adidas, now the Nike Shield. We're just trying to figure it out, figure it out. Right, trying the vongos. <laughs> trying the vongos. This. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Feel, feel good. Carnage at the running shoe store. Look at this. Look at the, look at all these shoes here. Whoa. That's awesome. Going with the Brooks, but going with the Brooks. First pair of Brooks in my life, right here. All right, let's go buy these. If you know your shoe. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so you were much, awesome. Seb. Give me I a really high, high five. It. Yeah, yeah it was we'll fun give a you. shout out to Roadrunner Thank Sports. Thank you so much. So yeah. I can, I kind of, I can sense the the San Diego feel. Can't it's like you? the beach. <laughs> yeah. Right? And the palm trees, exactly. Awesome. We're not quite there, but you like the mountains too. So. Thank you so it's much. A pleasure, you rock. Take care. I'm, I'll be looking for your name. I know. Yeah. Are you I'm racing? Not, I'm not racing. You're not. So yeah. Oh shoot. Man, I'm gonna be looking. Check it out. Check it out. Thank you. Bye.
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, everybody. Amazing. Amazing. Oh man, guys, this is crazy. I do. <laughs> We keep, I know I'm buying a lot of shoes and I'm gonna explain more about that back at the studio shed. By the way, it's raining out so I cannot film too much outside today. Essentially, guys, I am testing out running shoes, but I'm also testing out running shoe stores. You're picking up what I'm putting down? Service, customer service. Isn't it a beautiful thing? It's a beautiful thing when it's done right. So I'm gonna talk about that as well later. Thank you, Jennifer at Roadrunner Sports for taking care of me. It's just unbelievable all right guys come on let's go home put on these brooks ravennas <laughs> i had to remember the name of them unbelievable and we're back and we're back all right about to take the brooks ravenna 9 out for their first spin out in the streets of denver what is the key word of the day ravenna just kidding just kidding why would i make you spell ravenna i don't even know how to spell ravenna it's the number nine for the brooks ravenna 9 comment down below if you've made it this far in the video i'd appreciate it all right Let's do this. Butter my bread, butter my bread. Come on, come on. It was 80 degrees in Denver yesterday. Today it's in the 30s. I'm just gonna tell you now, I wanted to throw these shoes in the trash that first mile of this three mile run. And then, once my foot got warmed up a little bit, I mean, they, they're feeling pretty good, guys. I was not happy that first mile because this is a stability shoe, which I'm not used to. But now that I'm, you know, almost three miles in, the body has warmed up, the foot has warmed up, the plantar fasciitis has warmed up. Everything's feeling much better. Whoo! All right, almost home. up that foot oh it feels so good it feels so good of course the pain the plantar fasciitis pain is still there but it's feeling good and I'm listening to your guys's advice your tips your ideas and I've done all of this stuff in the past sometimes you get lazy and I get lazy sometimes and I don't take care of the planter like I should so I try I'm trying the heat I'm doing the towel with my toes and scrunching it up of course stretching but I need to be more intentional with my stretching and uh, guys I wanna start off with this. We gotta to listen to each other. So, first tip of the day is don't be afraid to go down below all of these videos that I'm publishing and read the comments. It's blowing my mind. You guys are rocking it. And I don't even know what to say. Like, I can't keep up with your comments. I can't keep up. And so today's comment that I wanna give a quick shout out to, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, Jim, but I just wanna mention it. Uh, it looks like Jim is from Minnesota. He's done, he's run 1300 miles this year. Uh, his planter flared up at mile 38 in a 50 mile race. He's got one more marathon left in December down in Dallas and he is suffering from plantar fasciitis. And so he's asking me what should he do to help get over this and what shoes should he be wearing? And so Jim, I listened to your comment from, gosh, this is probably four days ago. Sorry it took so long, but Jim, this is one of the reasons I went out and yes, acquired another pair of shoes. And I'm gonna come back to that topic in one second, but Jim, so far, uh, well, actually, no, let's dive into it right now. Why did I buy another pair of shoes? Listen, I know I'm buying a lot of shoes, but trust me when I say they're going to good use. 
first of all, True Love and I have the same size foot. So when I'm done or when they're when I have 100 miles in a pair, I can pass them off to her and she doesn't mind. Thank you, True Love. Second, I'm a big fan of donating shoes. And a lot of times they ship them to Central America or to Africa or places where, you know, there's not a running shoe store just down the street. So that's another way to reuse your running shoes. Anyways, I digress. Bottom line, Jim and everyone who's suffering from plantar fasciitis, PF, let me know down below if you are. If you are, I'm sorry. It's really painful. Um, I've, I've had it probably three or four times in my life and I've gotten over it every time. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. Never forget that. You saw today at the running shoe store that my foot was collapsing in my left foot, which is the foot that has the PF pain. My, in my arch is basically, it's just struggling. It's not strong. If something happened, I don't know what's going on. I need to rehab my left arch on my left foot because that probably is contributing it might not be the root cause but it's contributing to this pf pain in my right in my left heel therefore i decided to try something different try a shoe that has stability built into it so this is the brooks ravenna 9 and essentially this is a, one of the lighter weight stabilized shoes you can find on the market and it's very different than any of the Nike shoes that I have bought over the last two weeks. So this is the Pegasus 35, which I love, but it's more of a neutral shoe. So because my left arch is collapsing, and Jim, I don't know if your arch is collapsing and everyone else out there is suffering from plantar fasciitis, I recommend you go get yourself filmed on a treadmill like I did at the store. And then if they have this machine or a machine like it that can measure your foot and measure the, basically it measured like the, the arch and it measured like where my foot is collapsing. You saw it on the computer there. It was fascinating. Therefore, you can get as much data as possible to identify the issues in your feet. And as my grandmother always says, like you got to take care of your feet because your feet are the basis, the foundation of your entire body. So with that said, I'm excited. I only did three miles today in this shoe, but the first mile, as I already mentioned, was not happy. I was, that was not a fun experience. And then I got used to the shoe a little bit more and I can tell this shoe is a little stiff. So I need to break it in just a little bit. And I'm confident that this is going to be a good shoe in let's say two or three days. And this is where the comment section down below becomes critical for this YouTube channel. It's all about the comments. But don't just listen to me. If you have a few moments, read some other people's comments that are talking, especially people that have suffered from plantar fasciitis. And if you could share your wisdom as to which shoes you were wearing, what, what you have done to overcome your PF, definitely let us know. Us sufferers need your help. And the question of the day becomes, do you recommend a stabilized shoe or a neutral shoe for overcoming PF? If you have never had PF, awesome, that's good, keep it that way. But if you have, that's the question of the day. And if you have not had PF, the other question of the day is what injury, what has been your most recent injury that's been related to running? Comment below, let's get the discussion going, let's help each other out as best we can. And so far, I'm intrigued. And one last shout out to Road Runner Sports for taking such good care of me. That was incredible. Just incredible. You took the time to teach me about my feet, my own feet, before teaching me about which shoe can match my foot. So I learned a lot today. That was amazing. I will give my full thoughts on the Brooks Ravenna 9 in about two weeks. Stay tuned. Stay tuned after I put some miles in these guys. And thank you for being here, for hitting that subscribe button, for dropping your thoughts and your wisdom down in the comments. You guys rock as always. Seek beauty work hard and love each other don't forget that keyword don't forget that keyword see you tomorrow